This Irish alt rock band is the voice of a generation. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 songs by the Cranberries. Don't Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we've chosen our entries based on a combination of the artist's fan favorites and their most commercially successful songs. However, we won't be including any material from Dolores O'Riordan's career as a solo artist. Number 10, I Still Do. Beginning our list with a little melancholy is the opening track of the Cranberries' debut studio album. I Still Do is a haunting and mid-paced track that exemplifies the dream pop and post-punk influences found on the band's 1993 effort, Everybody Else Is Doing It So Why Can't We? an album that holds up even decades after its release. Dolores O'Riordan's harmonized and lilting vocals cry out on this sad ballad, which sounds tailor-made to be played in the middle of the band's set, offering fans a respite from loud guitars and yodeling, and making for a quiet and pensive change of pace. Number 9. Ridiculous Thoughts The Cranberry sophomore album No Need to Argue was released in what's widely considered one of the greatest years in mainstream alternative rock, so to stand out was quite an accomplishment. But with the harsher and more confident edge displayed on songs like Ridiculous Thoughts, they did stand out. The song opens up with a delicate yet sad vocal melody from O'Riordan before making its way into a mid-paced, jangling rock mode. With lyrics penned by O'Riordan about her trouble with the British media, Ridiculous Thoughts picks up steam as it moves on, with Dolores capping off the track with a strong, emotional shout. Number 8. Salvation Okay, enough of the sad stuff. It is time to rock. The Cranberries already had two hit records in their rearview when they released To the Faithful Departed in 1996, and the lead single Salvation was something a bit different for the band. An up-tempo rocker complete with ska-like horns. Mike Hogan's bass guitar pulses in the background as O'Riordan sings a dark song about addiction and loss, which some critics thought was heavy-handed in its message. Regardless, Salvation remains one of the Cranberries' most recognizable hits to this day, thanks in part to its unique, memorable, and very mid-90s music video. Number 7, Just My Imagination. Things get bouncier on our next track, as Just My Imagination represents the Cranberries' softer and more upbeat side. This certainly isn't a bad thing, however, as it clearly echoes the band's Irish folk roots while also sounding like something Morrissey and the Smiths might have written in the 80s. Just my imagination. Just My Imagination is found on the Cranberries' fourth album, Bury the Hatchet, which was released after the band took a brief hiatus. The group didn't miss a beat, though, as this song is a simple and effective pop tune, making good use of crystal clear production and O'Riordan's happy sounding vocals to create the perfect soundtrack to a warm summer day. Number 
Number 6. Animal Instinct Dolores O'Riordan's vocals take center stage once again on this track from the band's underrated 1999 album Bury the Hatchet. During the brief hiatus the band took prior to that record's release, O'Riordan became a mother, something she reflects on here. Instinct wears its emotions on its musical sleeve, but does a great job of balancing a melancholic vocal melody with upbeat guitar work to create an album highlight. Animal Instinct features a simple arrangement and drives its melody home with O'Riordan's passionate pre-chorus before ending with a brief but fitting guitar solo. Number 5. When You're Gone The Cranberries doing doo-wop? It's more likely than you think. When You're Gone opens with just such a vocal from Dolores, as the band sways back and forth with a simple but fantastic melody straight out of the 1950s. The song is off the To The Faithful Departed album, which, as its name suggests, memorialized some people important to the band who passed away. And When You're Gone itself offers further proof that the Cranberries could write outside of their comfort zone when given the chance. Its status as a ballad and a tribute to rock and roll history makes When You're Gone something of a secret weapon within the Cranberries' back catalog. And I miss Number 4. Ode to My Family Sometimes you just need a good cry. It can be the cure for what ails you, and it's what the next song on our list provides in spades. Ode to My Family has the power to break down even the toughest soul with its universal themes of nostalgia, simplicity, and lost innocence. And these themes are sung beautifully by Dolores O'Riordan, from the first wordless note to the last. There's nary a heavy guitar or loud lick to be found, but that doesn't make Ode to My Family any less impactful. It's still one of the Cranberries' all-time classic songs. Number 3. Dreams Music can evoke images within your mind with just a few simple notes. The Cranberries' otherworldly single Dreams certainly harnesses this power right from the get-go, as layers of guitars, vocals, and percussion wash over the listener. The single that introduced the band in 1992 is appropriately named, as dream pop is a term often used to describe the cranberry sound. Images of rolling green fields, crashing waves, and clear blue sky are somehow conjured up by the magic of this track, just as O'Riordan's closing vocal soars higher and higher, on through to the song's fade out. Number 2. Linger A lush string orchestration opens up our number 2 pick. Another single from Everybody Else Is Doing It So Why Can't We, and a breakthrough track for the band. Linger is an intimate song about first kisses, first loves, and regret, and hinges upon O'Riordan's fantastic chorus vocal, as well as the effect-laden guitar of Noel Hogan. When 
all of these elements come together, it's a perfect storm of dream pop music. The sort of song that somehow made the 90s term alternative rock make just a little more sense. If you're going into the Cranberries as a new listener, this is a great place to start. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Why can't you stay here? Why? Stay here why? Girls, you better jump. And I hope and I pray that the pain goes away. Yes, I pray. Yes, I pray. Number one, Zombie. It's probably the Cranberries' best known song, but at the same time, it's also not entirely indicative of their overall sound. A smash single from the band's sophomore effort, Zombie features a heavy and driving guitar riff, one certainly inspired by the then burgeoning grunge scene of the 1990s. Mike Hogan's bass and Fergal Lawler's drumming anchor this track, as O'Riordan delivers what might be her strongest vocal ever protesting the 1993 IRA bombing in Warrington. Do the Cranberries usually get this heavy? No, but that doesn't stop Zombie from getting our nod as the best song of the band's career. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.